People often criticise the Mega CD for being almost entirely made up of full motion video games, where all you do is press buttons in time with on-screen prompts. Well I'm here to set the record straight and show you a game that does precisely that and doesn't do anything but add more fuel to the FMV fire. What a twist! Time Gal is a 1985 arcade laserdisc game from Taito that features animation by Toei Company. You guide the protagonist Raker around various locations as she time jumps through history and attempts to track down the nefarious criminal Luda, who is also jumping through time trying to make his escape from Raker's timeline. It's a very simple setup that mimics other laserdisc arcade games like Dragon's Lair, except it's a little clearer with what you're supposed to do, giving you direction and action prompts on screen that specify exactly what you're supposed to do, unlike Dragon's Lair which just highlights certain elements on screen and you have to interpret whether to move or use the action button. Being animated by Toei, Time Girl has a heavy anime aesthetic which really makes it stand out. It may have been the first anime thing I ever encountered, way before Akira or Ghost in the Shell, as I didn't learn about their existence until the late 90s. Time Gal would be ported much later to the Mega CD in 1992, and this version amps up the anime aesthetic by giving the game a theme song and an intro cutscene that is fully voiced in the Japanese version, but the vocals are replaced with a simple synthesised melody in the US and PAL territories. In-game action has been fully dubbed in English, and it's pretty amateurish and campy, which definitely has an appeal, but I think you have to enjoy naff English anime dubs to really latch onto that. Time Gal features quite a lot of different locations and scenes to play through, and while they're pretty short, there's a lot of them, which really gives the game a lot of visual variety. The Mega CD version does have to limit the amount of animation frames, and if I was to hazard a guess, it's probably only rendering like 5 frames a second, but what I do like is that the scenes have been entirely traced using the Mega CD's colour limitations, which reduces the amount of dithering. You can actually see more dithering in the game's opening cutscene when compared to the in-game graphics, and I'm glad they went this route for the in-game presentation because it makes everything look very clean and easy to read. It doesn't change the fact that all you're really doing is reacting to button prompts and then pushing them quick enough as to not lose a life, but they've definitely tried to make this look pretty decent despite the limitations of the video encoder for the Mega CD. While the footage isn't full screen, it is big enough and it allows the developer to put button prompts in the frame and not obscure the actual footage like in the original arcade release. The only real change to gameplay happens during a select few time stop sequences, where you have to hit the action button to freeze the action, and then you get a choice of three things you can do in that scenario. Only one is correct, and you always want to minimise violence, because killing people in the past erases Raker from the future. It's not particularly groundbreaking stuff, but it does add some variety, which is certainly appreciated in a full motion video game. In the grand scheme of things, Time Gal is nothing special. It's the sort of game people who criticise the Mega CD hold up and pillory, as it's another FMV title on a console full of them. The action is extremely repetitive and fairly limited, but I still think it's a difficult game to dislike because it's just so charming and anime. The varied locations and scenery are always fun to discover, and the character designs are great, a real time capsule of 80s anime. It's also kind of funny that Raker always finds herself travelling into the thick of some absolute chaos wherever she goes. Why couldn't she travel to one time period where she isn't in any danger at all, and she meets a friendly stranger who cooks her dinner for a change? Game developers, take note! 